A. Oh, wait, what did I say? Ski! Stop. We're done. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> What's going on, guys? And welcome <laughs> once again to our channel, Cool Case Adventures. Your Central Florida family happens to be here at home, but in this video, we're going to take you guys to dinner we're with us. Eat. We're going to Disney Springs. And to be exact, we're going to the boathouse. Yes. So We've been in the boathouse, I think it was like about a year and a half ago. Yeah, really I think so. And we liked it. We liked it a lot. So it's time for us to go back. Well, and you, your kids loved it too. So we, we don't remember, but when you say food, look, we're ready for food. Yeah. We're already we're smiling. Here. We're ready. We're, we're here happy. for food. Me too. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you enjoy this type of content, Disney content, food review content, we highly suggest that you stick around because we got a bunch to show you. We also suggest that you subscribe and smash that like button. If we're sharing any valuable content with your fam, are we ready? Yes. Awesome, because I am. So what are we waiting on? So let's go. Wait, mom, hit the intro. Mom, hit it. Made it now to the springs. Uh, Not busy at all. Extremely fashionably late. 40, 44 minutes to uh, Totally. Totally forgot that it's spring break here in Florida. This is how the spring is looking. So our reservation was for 7.15. What time is it? 7.45. 7.45. half an hour late. So tonight we're going to learn what happens if you show up late. Will they steal? give you a spot if we show something else for dinner then you know what happens exactly if you guys see us eating burger king or mcdonald's you know exactly what happened this vlog completely changed <laughs> judging by the sense of urgency we're gonna be even later this is how we're moving just saying yeah spring break you know Spring break in Florida, pack your patience. If you were wondering how the Gideon's line look like, currently, pretty long line. So I see the bot house from here. If you guys don't know where the bot house is located, basically, pass Gideon and make a quick ride, and you're gonna see it. In other words, it's basically located in front of Vivoli Gelato. I mean, I'm good with that. I really want You're good with this Guinness as tiramisu? Oh, but you are. I bet you are. Anyway, Karen, why don't you give us the good news? What, what is the good news? I don't know. Try to convince the hostess. Oh, you got to convince I am? Yeah, you have the charm to convince Oh, boy. Great. We did stop into a car accident, so maybe that'll help. Yeah, there was a car accident right in front of Disney Springs, so they shut down two lanes. Can you so imagine maybe, that? Maybe that'll help us out, but uh, yeah. Carlos is the charmer here, so. But um, look at that line. Just to check in, I think. So I don't, I don't, I don't. Dang. I'm not. I know we were late, but that place is back so good news yeah you made it late they still gonna see you down nice. i had the feeling honestly because that's the well, my, some of them are pretty stuck, but this is not like a fine dining restaurant right. and that would be like different but i already gave my number um so we just gotta wait for our text even though we would arrive at 7 15 you still have to wait to check in and that could take like up to half an hour yeah uh they did ask me do you want to inside or outside it is warm tonight. It is humid. So I said inside. So hopefully, finger crossed, it doesn't take that long. But anyway, we get to share this experience again. And the key now, Karen, is I know we liked it the last time. Are we going to like it as much this time? Is it still as good? I think so. Uh, we'll find out. We'll find out. Anyway, I want to take the advantage that you said if you're brand new over here, make sure you leave us a comment down below. That way, we actually greet you. Karen will greet you herself and Perfect. welcome you to the family officially and if you are an og once we start showing you the menu let us know what you like the most now look at this kalala and i were just talking about it we want to do one of the we want to experience this once at least once right Kalal? Yeah. this is still in our bucket list to do so this is the amphi car uh well known as the amphi car and it's a car that is a boat. So it's pretty cool, look at this. 
I like this, man. That great food, water from dining, drink boats. Anyway, just like that, our table is ready. We're trying to figure it out. We have to make this long line or not. Karen went over there to us. One thing I want to show you guys is they do they do have an oyster bar. So if you like that, that uh, you like oyster, here's where you're able to find them. Look, they do also have shrimp as well. Sea of Cortez. Oyster House. Look at that. Summer Love. Pink Moon. So, there you go for all my oysters, lover. There we are, guys. And just like that, we're being seated. I remember seeing this boat. I would love to see it over here in this table. This is an actual table, as you can see. But we, right now, we have a... Hi, how are you? I'm good. Now, we just have a normal table. Oh, look, a piano. i never seen that before. We didn't see that the last time. So, anyway, here's our table. Alrighty, guys. So, we're going to show you the menu, and then, over, then we're also going to tell you what we got. So... We're not gonna go over all of it, so you are more than welcome to pause it. But basically, one thing we could show you is uh, like a, like earlier when when, uh, when I was able to show you the raw bar. Um, that's when they had the oysters. So those are the prices. Then those are the salads that they have. Lounge. The, the appetizer. Those are the appetizer, right, Karen? Yep. Then you have your duck side classics. Uh huh. Duck side classics are right here. Okay. Then you have a sandwich section. Then you have your steak section. And they are Gibson's Blue Star Heritage Angus Beef and Gibson's Grass Fed Australian Beef. So uh, apparently they're really known for their, for their steaks. Yeah, that's one of the things that they told us, not only on seafood, but they're known for the steak. For the steak. So, obviously over here you have the seafood area. The fresh fish, and then the sea and shore, and then obviously your side dishes that you can add to any of your meals. And then on the back of the menu, it has all the, um, pretty much all the, all the liquor or the alcohol, the wines, the chardonnays, anything, any of the uh, beverages that you want, it, that you might want. And I did order, just for fun, the actual duck 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 grass. That's what he ordered. The duck duck grass. So it's one of the most popular drinks over here that's basically like a martini with a duck inside. We'll see. So we'll see, I'll tell you how it, it tastes. Right over here, they had the specialty, I think of the day per se. So it says that today today feature the oyster of the on the half shell. They had the Prince Edward Island, Canada. There it is. Um, Anyways, those are the description of everything that they're offering for today. Um, and they had their whiskey and bourbon, bourbon scotch. scotch and, and here's the kids' menu. So, they that's cute. Yeah, grilled salmon, Angus burger, popcorn shrimp, chicken tenders, mac and cheese, and then they have the desserts, the chocolate cupcake, Oreo sundae, and the strawberry shortcake. And then, obviously, nice little coloring activity book for the kids to get to be entertained. And I want to make a correction, Karen and I went back to our video. It's been over two years since we visited that. That was the first time that we visited. Two years. Now, the last time we ordered something different, and even the kids ordered something different. So I'm going to attack, attack that video so you guys can see it either at the end or somewhere in the description. You guys going to get to see the kids eating chicken tenders, but it comes like in a... a, a a cute um it's a car so like the car boats that they have exactly the, the, so it looks very cute but the, that's what they ate from the kids menu la, uh, two years ago so today they're eating something different so as soon as the data arrives we're going to show it to you just want to basically let you guys know that they start you with uh some dinner rolls and if I, if I remember, I know, if I remember two years ago, this one went crazy for them. As usual. As usual. Waiting. She's patiently waiting. I don't know about that. I don't know about that either. The duck duck grass has made it to the table. I know. Look at how cute this thing looks, man. So it is. Uh, obviously, it's an alcoholic beverage. What does it have, Karen? It's got sky raspberry vodka, peach snaps, blue curacao, lemon juice, 
They got me with a blue curacao. Yeah. And the ducky, apparently. And the ducky. Yeah. You know. That's all he asked for. Isn't there a drink here with the ducky? I want the ducky. It? Yeah, so it's a very Instagram Instagrammable uh, drink. And they say that it's very sweet. And you guys know me. I kind of like the girly drinks. Say it how we want to say it. I like, I like these sweet drinks. I'm okay with that. So anyway, Karen, why don't you give it a try? Whatever you do, don't swallow my doggy, please. Hashtag save the doggy, please. Let's see what Karen thinks about that. Not bad. Not bad? It's not my favorite drink. You probably like it, but it's not bad. Okay. It's a, it's a little strong for me. I ain't sound convincing, but we'll see. Well, it's a little strong <laughs> for me. Okay. Try the vodka. You know what? Like. True. Alright, so Carlos is now going to try the duck duck res. Cheers. Cheers. I will swallow the duck. I like it. It is very sweet. Right. The server told us that. Yeah. It's like, I don't like sweet drinks, so I'm like, yeah, but I want to try it because this is like the most popular drink. But it's very, it's very good. Um, I would recommend people to try it at least once. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, you know, you guys know me. I'm not a big alcohol person, so. And I think uh, the price was $16. 16 yeah. So, hey, you get to walk with... Uh, $16 for a, little, for a little plastic duck. Oh, yeah, for a dollar store cooking. So they gave us a little bit of more dinner roll. Now this time it has the regular butter and cinnamon butter. And Kyla, you're going crazy with that cinnamon butter, aren't you? Planning a vacation can be very exciting, but also very stressful. Sometimes it's hard to plan when you don't have all the answers needed or you are not sure about what process to follow. Trust us when we say it can be very time consuming. This is the reason why we encourage you to contact us and allow us the opportunity to be your travel agents. Cool Case Adventures is affiliated with the PCO Travel, and our main goal is to help you plan your dream vacation so you can create the best memories of your life. Whether you want to go to Disney for an after-hour event, to Walt Disney World, Disneyland, or even to a Disney cruise, we will be able to assist you planning every step of the way. We are certified Disney travel agents, and our knowledge in the parks, restaurants, cruises, and hotels can definitely help with your planning. The best part is that we will not cost you anything extra. Just there to have your next adventure. And for now, all you have to do is to fill out the questionnaire in the description below, and we will be contacting you right away to start planning your next amazing vacation. Alrighty, people, so the food has arrived, and of course, Kyla cannot hold herself back from getting fries. But we're holding her food back just so we can show you guys these are what? Filet mignon. Filet mignon uh, sliders. So these are an appetizer, it only brings three. But you know, what Karen and I order, we get enough fries that we can share with Kyla. So again, three filet mignon sliders. Then Karen got a cheeseburger. I did get a bacon cheeseburger, so it's a very decent size. Look at this. Look at the amount of fries. And then Kaleo had a shrimp mac and cheese. With sausage. And with, I guess with the bread. sausage. And, and the bread too. Yeah, and I guess it has like a, a little kick in it. Like a, a lot of a little kick in it. So anyway, we're gonna try it out and let you guys know, give you our honest review. It already smells delicious. Go for it, Kaleo. Do your thing. The family dove very deep already. So Kaleo, first reaction on your mac and cheese, is it really good? I actually like it. You like it? Yeah. Is it, you Although, said it has a kick, right? It does have a kick. Okay, so, but he's enjoying it over there. Look at him going at it. Karen, you took your first bite of the burger. It's really good. It was, huh? Really good. Really good? <laughs> Kyla, you did too, right? And it was really good, the burger? That burger is so good. She said the burger is so good. And then how about your your sliders? Sliders good, there you go. So time to check on the family. Kaleo has that pasta. It's actually really good, I actually like it. So I don't like shrimp, but I went ahead and tried it without shrimp. It is delicious, but it, you're right, it does have a kick. But would I order this without the shrimp? Oh heck yeah, it's really good. Burger, it is outstanding to perfection. Karen, how's the? The burger is delicious. 
delicious. Very delicious. And I also try the spider. If you're gonna, in my opinion, if you if you're between, if you want like red meat, go with the burger. Okay. Instead of the spider, it brings the like it brings the lettuce, the onions. It brings it's more like it's a fuller meal kind of thing. Kyle's enjoy. But the steak, the steak on the slider is really good. Kyle's enjoying the burger over there. Did you enjoy the slider? Yeah, I wish there was more to the slider, like cheese or something. Okay. It's just bread and that. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna finish our meal and we give you our cover review once we walked out of here, because I know it's kind of loud anyway. So kind of loud. Kind of loud. Right? <laughs> And we just finished dinner, but check this out. They also have an outside seating over here. This is kind of cool. Like, if you want to come over here and sit outside and enjoy the band that they have in there, that's awesome. And they also have these side tables over here that belong to the bar. And like I mentioned, the bar, they have something over here. It's called the dog side bar. So you not only can sit over here, but check out the bar. This is pretty cool, though. Look how beautiful this is. Like I never made it back here at all, and I think you could. You also can use that outside seating over there. I think next time we're gonna ask for an outside seating. But I think regardless of the weather outside, I think it'll still be cooler than being inside. Plus, outside you get the the band, where inside you just get all the chatter, like from right. everybody. So I think you have a better experience if you sit outside. I'd rather be listening to cool yeah. music like that than loud. You know, child, like Karen said. So it's pretty cool. Look at all these, man. It's beautiful, though. Oh, they'll be back. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So there you have it here from Disney Spring and the Bot House. What do you guys thought about this overall experience in the Bot House? All the foods were really good, but Mom's Burger has to be the best thing that we tried. Okay. This is really good. That burger was delicious. Again, I would stick with the burger instead of the sliders. Yes. The sliders. I think it was missing something, you it know what I mean? Like it's just literally the bread and the steak. So I think it was, I mean, it's meant to be an appetizer too, so it's not an actual entree, but but I think it was missing something. Was so I would stick with it. I would stick with the burger if you're really looking. The burger was delicious. The burger was really good, not gonna lie, that was number one. And then after that, it had to be my mac and cheese because that was delicious. Wow, so you like the burger over the mac and cheese? Ah, yeah. So the burger, yeah, I agree. The burger was delicious. I did love your mac and cheese. Obviously without shrimp, because I don't eat seafood, but it was very, very good. Now, if you don't like spicy food, I stay away, yeah. Also, he said he needs some milk. True. Also, one thing that, I re that we realized is that we rather sit outside, like we mentioned earlier, because also the seating is more comfortable outside that inside. It felt super crowded in there, so I think it would be easier yeah. to sit, it would be more comfortable and easier to sit outside. Even the servers were tripping off the chairs, so. Yeah. yeah I got tripped, like, people tripped over my chair. So, overall guys, the ball house experience was amazing. Highly recommend that to anybody, all families. It's a really Never good place. Amazing. Now you can, you can see why it's so popular. The servers, they're all amazing. In the environment. Yeah, so even though they're not your server, they you know they look at you and they're like, hey, how are you? You know, they yeah. greet they you. They say goodbye while we're leaving. Outstanding yeah. customer service. But we hope we were able to help you with this video and this uh, family review. Sadly, this adventure has ended. With that said, we gotta remind everybody to subscribe and smash that like button, turn the bell notifications. Bing, 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 and feel free to comment down below. Is number two. Smile out, be great, be cool, and stay awesome. See you guys next adventure. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Boom, boom, boom. See ya. Bye.